Hi everybody, this is Mark Siegel, and I stumbled across something very interesting, and I wanted to share it all with you. So, one of the problems that we run into when we're using not Google Docs is that you can't insert equations nice and easily. Now, I've got a workaround, which I will share as a link in the description of the video about how to insert things like subscripts and superscripts into Google Forms, but those things are already available in Google Slides. But what if you wanted to write an actual equation, like with fractions and um, a bunch of other and symbols and things like that, and equal signs that was nice and neat, like you would find in an equation solver in Microsoft Office or in Google Docs? Well, there's nothing that exists for Google Slides or Google Forms. And then I, so I Googled it while I was helping my son for a project, and I came across this Google extension called Equatio. So I'm going to show you how it works, and I'm going to show you where to find it. So Equatio installs itself as a Chrome extension, so it's available for anything you do with Chrome. And I'll show you how it works in both a Google Form and a Google Slide. So let's say you're a math teacher, and this is your agenda for today, and you want to insert an Equatio. So you quick click on the Equatio Chrome extension, and it gives you this toolbar along the bottom. So if I want to insert an equation, I click here and I can type whatever I want. Now, it's not perfect, so you got to play around with it a little bit. So let's say I wanted to do, my, my son's in like a pre-algebra type class, so let's do uh, 1 slash 4 and see how it recognizes the fraction already. Parentheses, x, and if I use standard forming, like I use the um, caret of the shift 6 to give me the square, but there's also a square down here, and I'll get to that in a second square minus four. Now, let's say I want that as a fraction. Now, I can come down here to the bottom right-hand side. There's this XA, which shows me I can do this right now. Oops. So it, it takes a little while to remember how to format it. So X squared minus four over two, or something like that. I'll delete what I was writing. And then I'll set that all equal to, I have no idea if this is solvable. Let's do 64. There we go. So something like that. So now I've got my equation written. And now I just click the insert math button. And what it does is now it runs a quick install. And it basically installs it like an image onto your page. So you can give the students like one big equation to solve for the day. Or you can type a bunch of equations and put it in there. So the way I found it was we were working in Google Drawings. So I said, OK, let's type in Google Drawings Equation Editor. And I found the, I found a link, and it said Equatio for Google. And I'm like, OK, let me try this. So when I did this, it's actually by TextHelp. Now, TextHelp does a bunch of other things, too, that my school uses for with their Google Apps. So when you click on TextHelp, it brings you to the Chrome Web Store. And you can click the button. I've already got it installed for Chrome. So you would click the button for install it for Chrome. And it installs it as an extension on your Chrome toolbar. So that this way, when you are working in your Google Slides, it pops up. And like I said, it inserts it as an image. If you want to do a second one, you would just insert another equation. So you could type in other things. So this one's telling me to do a square. So I'm going to do S Q U ah, square root. Square root of 60 or let's see. Square root of 16 equals equals x minus I don't know 43. There we go. And then I hit insert and does some magic. And it inserts another one for me over here, which, again, it's an image, so I can move it around, play with it, change its size, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, that goes along with it. So, fantastic, super simple for if you're a math teacher, you want to throw some agendas up there. Um, it does have a graph editor, so you can create your own graph and insert a graph on there. You can do a bunch of different stuff with there. I haven't played with all the, all the different techniques and things that go along with it, options. It does have a mobile app, apparently. Not going to get into that, but I'm going to show it to you. But I do want to show you how it works for Google Forms. So I created a quick Google Form. And you'll notice now I have an icon next to the question and the answers. So I could insert a question. Here's something I typed out previously. I can insert this as a question in here. 
just like you could insert an image and it's loading it hold on a second now I could say which of the following is a possible solution for this equation and then I would put my answers here you know, like 45 4 etc um, or I can insert other possible equations in here instead of the answers. So there's a couple different things I could do with this. And then when it shows up on the student side, this is what it would look like. So Equatio gives you some different options to work with if you're a math teacher that you just didn't have before. Instead of like creating an image on something else and inserting the image, now you can actually enter the equation directly into your Google Form or your Google Slide, a Google Drawing, whatever it happens to be. Lots of different options for you. So hopefully you enjoy it and hopefully you get to use it in your classroom.